Welcome to the 44th edition of Make Pro Wrestling Majestic Again. I am Tiger Height. And this is a semi translucent peanut gallery. <laughs> this is amazing. I should wear this shirt every single time we do this show. Yes, now. Pe peanut gallery has a. Uh, it's a green. This is my fault. It's a green Bigfoot shirt. It is. So that's the green. <laughs> and obviously, because it's a green screen. <laughs> he's he's <sighs> see through. So, so if you only do weird poses. Let me know. Right. Like, so, like while I'm doing this. Let's, like, let's, let's, let's talk about Elimination Chamber. Um, oh, Lord. Here I'm, we I'm, go. I'm going to say overall, it exceeded my expectations, but I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. I mean, I can take my shirt off. No. Let's not do that. <laughs> Keep the shirt on, please. All right. Let's talk about our first match. Goldberg versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Champion. McMahon got his jerk-off sesh out of the way. It was better than I expected. No, it was it was terrible. It was a terrible match. It was terrible, but Goldberg, it was better. Goldberg bled like the first two minutes of this fucking match. It was terrible. I legitimately don't even know where. On top of his head. No, no. I, I don't know where within the match that he got hit on the top of the head to have him bleed. Who fucking cares? He probably got it at Denny's or something. Thank Christ. Christ, this is his last match on his contract. And he actually did announce that he was done after this oh, on social thank media. God. But yes, Roman Reigns obviously won guillotine choke, clean victory. At least McMahon oh, whatever sort of at, thing. at least at least McMahon got his jerk off session out of the way. Again, you, so okay, so here's the thing about this show is that we actually got every single prediction correct. Besides yep. besides the SmackDown tag. But they actually had to cut that match because of time. Oh, really? They I didn't did. even I didn't they, even know that. They had to cut that match. Oh. That's why they did what they did. Oh, I didn't know mm -hmm. that. So uh, we won't even bother covering that because there's no point. Well, there is no point. It's, it's, right. They, although, yeah, look at this. Look at how... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Reigns won, still champ, hooray. All right, so let's make this shit majestic again. We're starting with a match that was on the pre-show, but it, you know, we didn't watch the pre-show, so, so, so we're the only cover thing it. that's going to save this is Logan Paul, which is what's going to happen at WrestleMania. Yeah, Logan Paul is going to be teaming up with the Miz to face the Mysterios. I wouldn't hate that. It's Logan Paul, though. I know. Um, Logan Paul is <clears throat> breaking into all the. All the combat sports and doing their doing their shit. Easy, easy. I don't know. It might be good if 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 Logan Paul's more like Bad Bunny. It might actually be decent. I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be optimistic about it. I don't know. I'm gonna be optimistic. I know people hate Logan Paul because of what he did to boxing, but it's like okay, who's drawing other than fucking Logan Paul in boxing right now? No one is. Yeah, kind of like WWE. No one is drawing in wrestling, and, and not in wrestling in WWE. No one is drawing in WWE other than people who are part timers or celebrities. Right. There's no draw. There is no draws, and unfortunately, I mean, Rey Mysterio would be a draw if they didn't book him so poorly. And then the same thing with he's, uh, he's, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is facing off against Johnny Knoxville, which is actually pretty much confirmed for WrestleMania this year as well. I'm not going to hate that because at least they but built you know a rivalry it's not around it. It's not because of Sami Zayn. It's because of Johnny Knoxville. Right. Johnny Knoxville is going to sell his tickets. Same thing with Stone Cold Steve Austin and, um, and Kevin Owens. Is, no, um, no, one's, no one's going because it's Kevin Owens. Do, 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 you, do, you know, um, do you know if the Zayn Knoxville match is for the IC belt? It's not. Okay. It's just going to be a match. Okay. So anyway, let's go to the next one, which we actually talked about. Um, there was <sighs> there was no reason for this match. There was legitimately exist. there was legitimately no reason for this. I would have rather had the SmackDown tag team title match than this match. Or you mean the tag team? The, the yeah, the, the, the SmackDown tag team title match. Oh, oh, oh you mean okay? Yeah, so like, not the women's match, but just in, instead of instead of <laughs> this nonsense, which didn't even have to happen. They should have had the SmackDown tag team title match. Oh, you, or, know, you know the only reason they did this one was because, because Ronda, Ronda Rousey. Rousey. I, I'm aware of why they did it. Don't, yeah. don't, don't confuse what I know of in making this majestic again. We're making this majestic again. That's our fucking job. But we pay for the fucking place that we live in based on this. Yes, I'm telling you, that's terrible. Yes. It was terrible because it didn't have to happen. Also, the SmackDown tag team match would have been terrible too. No, the at least won. at least there was a rivalry. This, there, I uh, mean, they 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 hog posh this shit to get Rousey in there somewhere. That that's was true. it. The, 
They did not need to do this. The match sold itself. And the thing with Sony Deville and Naomi, it's done. Naomi beat her already. What's the point? They're going to be facing each other at WrestleMania, I think. It's stupid. I know, it's stupid, isn't it? Maybe if Sonya Deville was... You know what? Maybe the stalker had the right idea. Anyway, so... I do not condone that, by the way. That is literally just satire. So, um, let's... It was great to see Alexa Bliss, my bae, in there. She did very good, too. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, she still has a stupid little on-the-swings weird gimmick. I mean, if you if you continue to jerk off to that, Chris Hansen's going to bust through our door here in a hot fucking minute. <laughs> now, hold on. She is of age. I kind of like... I kind of like... Maybe, I, 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 I maybe, kinda, maybe I she likes... Like, maybe she likes to role play as a toddler. We're going to have... We're going to have Chris Hansen be a guest on this show at some point in time <laughs> for... Maybe she likes it for role playing. I don't know. I'll we'll have to ask the wrong Ryan about this. Because it should have mm. been me. <laughs> you just like how he strategically had a drink at that point. So I'll be honest with you. As an overall premise of the match, given the circumstances, I wouldn't have booked this differently. We all know who was going to win this match. I know, I know. But the thing is, is that everybody within the scope of this match had a credible reason the match itself was structured, paced, and fought really well. And I think it actually did a benefit overall to the women's division post-WrestleMania. <sighs> Bianca Belair twirl her shit around way too much. You think so? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I could see that. She She's not going to rely on her where her... Her wear her hair way too much. Uh, the problem is she didn't use it. She needed to start using the hair. Now, I understand that she has to hold on to it to do certain maneuvers. It was it was just terrible. She though. she needs to start she, using. She was she was showboating to the to the Saudi royals really hard, man. You think so? Mm -hmm. Do you think Ray Ripley probably would have been a better winner? No, Ray Ripley sucks. <laughs> You're <laughs> so negative. <laughs> Ray Ripley has the charisma and the what are you talking the, the about? Gimmick you, of a ham sandwich. Did you did you watch the same match that I did? Ray Ripley is one of the best acts that they have right now. Period. No, she doesn't sell like uh, Bianca Belair does because Bianca Belair is. Not I know, a but wrestler. in comparison to anybody else on this fucking thing, who I mean, else? Nikki Ash sells as well as a bologna sandwich. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Bad. I'm pretty sure I can poop out something that sells better. I mean, but, at least, yeah, at least, at true. least, at least, Liv Morgan is showing more and more of how good she is. Yeah, but uh, Vince McMahon. Well, I don't know. She's blonde. And she has big boobs. So I, I she doesn't imagine. have big boobs. I mean, she's hot, but she, I, I wouldn't I, say I, that she has I big don't boobs. Know. She's got eh, maybe C's. <laughs> Anyways, we're we're, this, we're, in the, we're in the we're in the mind of McMahon. This uh, we are not this misogynistic. Is, this, is, this is Vince McMahon. He is misogynistic. This, you know, you five year old. I I, th I think if you've watched WWE for more than three seconds, you know why we talked about that. Yes. Let's talk about this. Um, other than that, really scary spot. And Matt actually, Cat Moss should be nowhere near a ring. What are you fucking? You're insane. What are you talking about? He needs to get rid of the stupid gimmick. But other than that, I think he actually is fine. I want to see him with a laugh factory without I, without the McMahon script because I think he can. He I think he, he could do something good. Some really good jokes. I think I think he has. I I think there's a personality there. That man has a future in comedy. I think he does. I think if he was anywhere else, he would be in a, such a better position. Oh God, period. Yes. Honestly, he needed more seasoning in NXT or something. To get him really that into that position. Also, why? Well, I mean, Drew McIntyre is... <sighs> Drew McIntyre can pull off a good match with fucking he, anybody. The problem with Drew is that he's in a really awkward position because he's not as good as Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. And Vince McMahon has no capability of building a new Un star. Here's, so. the problem. here's the problem with Drew, and I'm going to say this to the day I die. Drew McIntyre <sighs> won the WWE Champion at the worst possible time. It was a no-win situation when it came to the COVID pandemic. I can almost guarantee you that if it was a regular year in 2020 and Drew McIntyre had the reign that he did, 
we would see a much different Drew McIntyre. Right. But I, um, I, I think I think he was just a victim of circumstance. But again, Vinnie Mac likes to rely on the His, people that uh, once again it's it, it was it was not for the sake of trying. Mm-hmm. And I think Drew McIntyre is a draw. He just won it mm-hmm. at the worst year possible. Because keep in mind, he won the Royal Rumble and had all of this momentum mm-hmm. in January That's true. of twenty twenty. We didn't know what was going to happen in March. Well, maybe they should have thought ahead. I'm you couldn't. <laughs> just give you do, do, do you think every fucking company should have a global pandemic thing? Well, I mean, I do. Anyways, never mind. Let's move on. We Next do? match. <laughs> we do? Anyway, um, um, this this was a jerk-off sesh. I'm not offended by it. We knew who was going to win. It was All right, easy. let's move on. Do you have anything else to say, really? Nope. Same with this one, Jordan well, Sash. Well, say, same with this one, but once again, replace the Ronda Charlotte match with this match, and I'm going to be a little more compelled because at least this one had seasoning. They had matches on SmackDown. There was stuff here. But, you know, of course, the Viking Raiders have about as much uh, charisma as It's not milk. their fault. I know. <laughs> this is WWE's fault. War Machine was the hottest act in tag team wrestling, period, in 2018. That's true. That's what I'm saying is that they, they have the charisma these days of spoiled milk. They suck. Anyways, let's move on to the next it, it, They suck not to their fault. This one honestly exceeded my expectations. Oh yes, let's let's talk about Becky Lynch. That needs to stop now. Okay, here's the thing. I'm just gonna let Pina Gallery in. I thought you were gonna hit me. <laughs> so, um, here's the thing. So, <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just gonna mute him for now. So. <laughs> <laughs> there, are you feeling better? Bing, bing, <laughs> bing, bing, bing. So, <laughs> Becky Lynch is a good seller, but if she only did this, like, what am I going to do? That's it. Instead of, it's not necessary. It's so not necessary. Now, she was like, like, like one or two actions. That's fine, but not this. It doesn't. She's terrible at selling. It's it it's that really way. it's really bad. She never has been good at selling, and she's oh god, she's terrible. She used to be so much better. She's going. No, she's never been. She's good at she's selling. going. She's going too far. She's overcompensating. She, well, yeah, because apparently she cannot wrestle. I mean, come on, Some, something's wrong she can't sell very well she's she's i wonder i wonder i wonder i wonder if she's doing this on purpose because she just doesn't care maybe because she's almost immune maybe the video should release her yeah let's let's send a message do better yeah anyway you know what they're not going to you know why because she sells them merchandise she does she's a draw that's the thing she becky lynch even now She's a draw. Right. She just wasn't a draw to Saudi Arabia, so they had to bring Lita out of the grave. Right. Now, okay, to to Lita's credit, she did okay. Yeah, she did. She now, did fine. now, if Lita had now, I even told this to Pina Gallery. All hey, she needed all she needed was like one or two matches, like right before the show, and we would have been talking about a much different match. Mm-hmm. Because as the match went on. She was getting better and better and better. But she just needed an extra little, like, mm. warm-up match. Even just, like, a five-minute, easily right. digestible match. Like a tag match, even, where she got involved. She just needed to break off some of that ring rust before right. this match. We would have been talking about a much different match. Anyways, moving on to the next match. But that's, that's really all it needed to happen. Yep. Chamber. I wouldn't have done anything differently, to be honest with you. No. Um, with Lashley and the shoulder injury, I think that was the safest way to do it, where they kept him strong. And of course, Brock Lesnar had to win. I mean, if you chose anyone but Brock Lesnar to win, then why did you even attempt? 
Now, if WWE wanted to be something crazy... They should have had Riddle win. That would have been awesome, actually. Riddle versus Randy Orton for the that, WWE that, that, Championship. That, that, would have been, that would have been the talk of the wrestling world. It would have been, but they're not going to because WWE wants to play safe. They don't want to take that risk. They don't and want it's to. like, why not? And you know what would have happened? It would have been Randy Orton, Riddle, at WrestleMania. That's what people want to see. Oh, I know. And that's what WWE was planning have, on have, have, to have, have, the, have the Roman Reigns-Brock Lesnar match for the Universal Champion like one night, yep. riddle Randy Orton the other night, and then have the title unification the second night. Right, or whatever. But, you know, I mean, but again, that's WWE won. Majestic. They, 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 that they, would have been my option if in an ideal world I would have had a surprise riddle WWE championship. Yep. Even, even if they wanted to put it on AJ, fine, cool. Well, AJ doesn't have a like a credible rival in front of him. That's that true. Do it. And at least with Seth Rollins, they could do a churn with Kevin Owens and have Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens for the title of WrestleMania. They're not going to do that, though. I know. I think, I think Riddle would have been the surprise. I think Riddle would have been a surprise oh, because God, yes. because Riddle obviously has the talent. He has the charisma. Mm -hmm. No matter what you say about him in his previous uh, uh, personal circumstances, he, uh, he's still popular with people. Right. Anyways, that's all I have. Majestic. And yeah, that was it for uh, Elimination Chamber. So, when we come back, we're talking to Peanut Gallery. And Peanut Gallery, speaking of Chamber, what are we talking about? Well, we're going to talk about the uh, system of class in Saudi Arabia and the crowds therein. Yes.